The MSAG-1 SCBA's frame is equipped with three built-in carrying handles. The two side handles are rated at 500 pounds static force. The top handle is rated at 1,000 pounds static force. The harness is made of Kevlar webbing straps. It was designed for secure stable fit with weight concentrated at the hips. The shoulder straps have built-in tunnels to protect the electronic and pneumatic components of the pass device and shoulder mounted speaker or VPU. These tunnels are held together by snaps. The waist straps adjust from both sides, keeping the SCBA centered during donning. The regulator storage clip is located on the left waist belt for storage of the second stage regulator. It is designed to keep the second stage regulator clean and secure until it is attached to the face piece. The adjustable swiveling lumbar pad can be positioned in three settings to lengthen and shorten the carrier. The lumbar portion should be adjusted to the small of the back so weight is carried at the hips. The power module is located at the bottom of the carrier frame. The rechargeable lithium ion battery powers all lights, communications, and controls from one source. The charge lasts for six to eight hours of continuous use. Check the battery status by pressing either green button on the pass. The battery life average between charges is three to eight weeks depending upon use. Use the seatbelt tool located on the left shoulder strap to remove the battery from the frame. It takes four to six hours to charge a completely depleted battery. There are four buddy lights on the bottom of the carrier frame that let other crew know the SCBA air status. The top and bottom lights alternatively flash. The top lights are easily viewed when the wearer is standing. The bottom lights are easily viewed when the wearer is crawling. The light colors correspond to the green, yellow, and red lights of the user's heads-up display and the pass status lights. The air cylinder is secured in two ways. The bottom is secured by a dovetail design that also positions the air cylinder for proper connection. The top is secured by a stainless steel band with an integrated adjustment mechanism which has a release on the right side. Alarm tones will sound from two speakers located on the harness. The first stage regulator attaches directly to the air cylinder valve which is a large gray quick connect. The first stage regulator lowers air cylinder pressure to approximately 115 PSI, which is supplied to the second stage regulator via the intermediate pressure hose. In the event of a regulator failure, the regulator will remain open. A relief valve will activate to regulate pressure to the second stage regulator. The pneumatic belt integrated low air warning alarm is located on the first stage regulator and emits an audible ring when the air cylinder pressure reaches 1485 to 1665 PSI. This is approximately one third of the rated air cylinder pressure. The low air warning bell will operate until air cylinder pressure reaches 200 PSI. The universal air connection or UAC is a male fitting rated for 4500 PSI systems. It is designed to be connected to the hose from the rick bag cylinder for a quick fill in emergency situations. A white LED light illuminates the UAC fitting for visual aid in the dark. The LED activates when the air cylinder reaches approximately one third pressure. The Universal Emergency Breathing Safety System or UEBSS is a 39 inch intermediate pressure hose with male and female quick connection fittings. It is used in firefighter rescue operations, allowing for quick connection and air supply to firefighters that are experiencing an emergency. Connection from the supplying SCBA can be either male to female or female to male. To connect, push the coupler firmly over the plug to engage. To disconnect, push the two sides of the quick connect towards each other. Slide the coupler's outer sleeve away from the plug and then pull the plug out of the coupler. 
The second stage demand valve regulator supplies breathing air via a 24-inch intermediate pressure hose. It provides over 350 liters per minute of breathing air. Dual microphones are integrated directly into the regulator, thus eliminating inhalation and exhalation noise. The large red knob on the regulator controls the adjustable bypass valve. Turning the bypass valve knob counterclockwise provides a constant flow of breathing air. The bypass valve is intended for emergency use only to supply breathing air, should a regulator failure occur. The bypass valve is capable of supplying a maximum of 120 liters per minute of breathing air. The shutoff is the top gray and translucent release button on the regulator. The top button houses a forward-facing LED air status indicator. At 50% cylinder pressure, the LED is activated, flashes yellow, and a descending medium pressure tone sounds. At approximately 33%, the LED changes to red and flashes at a faster rate. When not in use, the regulator should be stored in the regulator belt clip located on the left waist strap. The second stage regulator is attached to the face piece by firmly pushing it into place. Proper orientation will have the red bypass knob on the right. When engaging the regulator onto the face piece, press firmly until you hear both release buttons snap into place. Pull firmly outward on the regulator to ensure the regulator is properly secured. The second stage regulator is activated by a sharp inhale. This will also activate the speaker module and Bluetooth connectivity. To disengage the regulator from the face piece, depress both the top and bottom gray release buttons and pull the regulator from the face piece. The heads up display transfers light through windows from the second stage regulator. The right side provides air management information. The left side provides icons for battery status, evacuation status, and pass status. The battery icon flashes yellow when the battery is low. The evacuation icon flashes when an evacuation is ordered or turns solid when an evacuation is confirmed. The pass triangle icon flashes red during pass pre-alarm and thermal alarm. It stays solid red during pass full alarm and manual alarm. The pass triangle icon will flash blue when there is an LCD temperature alarm. This indicates that the LCD screen on the pass device may be overheating. The MSA G1 SCBA face piece offers a wide field of view and is NFPA compliant with heat protection of 500 degrees for five minutes. To reduce weight and to lessen the chance of snags or entanglement, there are no electronics on the face piece. The mask is also completely submersible for decontamination. And it is equipped with a speaking diaphragm to increase speech clarity while off air. It has a four-point harness with an adjustable Kevlar net. To don the face piece, spread the mesh harness with both hands. Position the chin into the chin cup of the mask. Pull the head straps over your head and tighten, starting with the bottom strap then the top strap. Slide your hand down the head net, confirming it is sitting flat and not bunched up. Then repeat tightening the straps, starting with the bottom strap, then the top strap. Tighten the straps firmly and evenly. Check to ensure a proper seal. For additional information, please access the attached training materials.